All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to keep up the momentum with our hockey approach here because we've done extremely well with it. Um, uh, yesterday, we had some big successes of people who kind of followed along here, and I got, actually got top 10 with a couple of lineups in the big lottery, just a couple of, couple of bounces here and there, and we take the whole thing down. So we're going to do the same thing as long as we still have these four-game slates. Uh, it's nice and manageable, um, and yet still we could we could we could you know get different and all this good stuff. Um, so again, we have the DraftKings app over here. Actually, it's not technically an app; it's on the desktop. Um, and we're going to also be using our projections um, to kind of come up with what we feel would be the hand-built approach. In other words, if we didn't use an optimizer, like what we would expect to see, and then we will go ahead and throw in, um, use SaberSim to build what we would actually get and then see how they compare. And I, I, as usual, I think it's very interesting. And I literally haven't looked at those results yet, so we'll see how it happens. And it's pretty much the same four games as we did a couple of days ago, it makes perfect sense. And the first thing I'll notice is, um, let's take a look at the, at the total again, and we'll do the same thing. We'll use Saberson, we'll look at the total, and then we'll go back to my sheets and then go back to Saberson to build. Um, and this is rule number one with content creation is always check your technology before, before you start your stream. Otherwise, what you run the risk of having to do is a long sentence to Prolonged. There it is. Okay. So once again, you'll see the Carolina Boston total being a little bit bigger than the others. You got that being six and a half. And then you have Toronto, Tampa, a little below it, like six. And then Minnesota, St. Louis, about six. And LA Kings, Edmonton, about six. And with respect to the individual teams, you have once again Carolina with a 4.5. And then, uh, you know, pretty much everybody's about three, except Edmonton's got 3.4 and the Kings are a little bit worse. Um, so you'd expect to see, again, uh, Carolina being, you know, probably being the top projected uh, projected team with probably Edmonton next. But let's just see if that actually happens. And then we'll also see how, you know, when maybe ownership kind of plays in. So the first thing I'll look at, I'll bring my sheets over here, is... The first thing I'll notice is that unlike the other day, the other day we had all this Carolina that was just jammed at the top of the projections. And in addition to that, they were extremely high owned. And we remember we went back and forth on whether the ownership was, was, was correct or not. And then we had, we pared it down a little bit um, as we got closer to lock. Turns out fading Carolina was the right play anyway. And in a situation like today, where it's certainly looking like Carolina is going to get that, that pretty high ownership, and given the fact they don't look, I mean, that great. I mean, they look fine, but it's not like they stand out. Like, I'm looking here, I would say, okay, I play, you can use Trocek, and then you got to go all the way down here to Ajo and Trevenian. I mean, they're certainly good, but it's not like they're huge standouts, right? Um you could certainly make the case to play these three Edmontons just as much, if not more, than these Carolinas. So if the Carolinas are going to be that, that chalky again, I would have no problem going right back to Edmonton. Okay. Um, so let's, so let's, let's, let's do that. Let, let, let's, let's put these guys in and see what this is like. So just for fun, we will, we will, you know, correlate with the goalie. Um, so we'll have, actually, what you're probably supposed to do is probably play Boston, the Boston goalie, but I don't want to run the risk of, of giving up Carolina it is rooting for too many shots on goal for Carolina. Okay. Um, um, but I don't know, maybe so, so one or the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in, we'll put in Smith and these Edmonton. So we're going to put in Smith. Hyman, McDavid, and Nugent Hopkins to start off with. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, okay. McDavid, Nugent Hopkins, and what did we say? 
time. And when we put in Mike Smith, like for example, I mean, you could, you could, you could do this like pretty easily. So what I'd probably do is, is probably look for a fourth Edmonton. Don't worry too much about the projection. Make sure that it correlates, you know, whether it be dry side off or power play or Kane on the wing. I mean, what, what, any of them are fine. As a matter of fact, I mean, I wonder if you could do them all. Probably not, right? Like if you put Kane over here and then you put in, can you, can you do all this? Probably not. You probably could actually. If you wanted to do this, if you wanted to just go ransack and just play Edmonton and then just fill in with these cheapos, like here, like let's go back to the sheets for a second. And you see this Trocek, well, he's a center, it's a little harder. But you get to one of these cheapo wings like uh like uh like Jarvis. I mean, he's he's gonna be really popular, but you look at Kalorn. I mean, Kalorn is rates just as high as, as a popular Jarvis. So you put in kind of Kalorn uh, as a one-off here. And, you know, it's not going to be difficult to find two defensive cheapos to play, you know? So, so this, this is a real nice, easy way to build um, today. And, and it took about five seconds. Um, so th that's probably what I might consider doing if I were hand building. I would, I would, I would fade Carolina, just root for a close, you know, root for a, a downer, and then just sit on your sit on your fat ass and wait the whole night until you get that late hammer. And it's fun. It's fun to have like the entire all of your your winnings like zero and everything pinned to the left in, in your, your DraftKings app, you know. But with all those you know those minutes remaining, depends what kind of person you are. Some of you like to put a number up there. I like to put a number up there. Maybe we should attack this Tampa Toronto game. You know, um, so let's see. Let's 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 see. For those of you who want to put a number up there, let's see what the let's see what those that te those teams look like. Um, well, we can start with that Kalorn, but oh, man, you go all the way down to these guys. It's kind of tough. Maybe what we're supposed to do is, as usual, not sleep on these Minnesotas that we did last week. But we'll see what Saber Sim says when it comes to building that kind of stuff. I mean, for me right now, it seems like Edmonton's the real clear, just very easy little pivot off of Carolina and uh, from, from a handbill perspective. So let's um let's see what Saber Sim does if we if we put in our projections. And I wonder what I wonder. I do wonder. So let's see what they do. All right. It could be anything. Let's see what kind of mood they're in. We're going to build 30 lineups. Is it going to jam in Edmonton? Is it going to jam in Carolina? Is it going to give me zero Carolina, zero Edmonton, and just go all kinds of nutso with St. Louis, Minnesota? Sometimes it's just a complete mystery. And that's what I'm telling you. It's one of the reasons why I do believe that for – that, that if you had to rank which sports Saber Sim was the most, gives you the most extra value over just your traditional optimizer, I really feel is that, I mean, it's close between baseball and hockey, um, but I, I, I really do think that it's hockey. And it's just because of my, my experience, but I get like all kinds of like ridiculously looking low, low on lineups. It just always seemed to, always seemed to do something. That's the best I can describe this. And as suspected, let's see. So first, let's, let's take a look. It, it's giving me a bunch of five twos. What's it going to give me? Ready? I'm afraid to look. And whoa, it really is giving Edmonton. Okay. So Edmonton and then there's Toronto, like last time, St. Louis, and almost no Carolina. Let's go. Now, the only thing, though, is that, again, um, these ownerships are very efficient. I mean, like they're, they're making Carolina like they're, they're going to be 80% owned which is why we're going to play zero of them pretty much. So we, again, we do have to wait and see how these ownerships kind of play out. Um, and unfortunately tonight, I don't think I'm going to be around for that update. Um, but Saberson is going to update theirs. So even though you won't get the full industry-wide projection model, you'll at least get something. So I, I would, I would take a shot, and just continue to continue on. I mean, I would, I, I would use Saberson to build lineups tonight. 
um, especially if I'm not going to be around. Um, if, if I would stick with my projections right now, but what I would do, and you could do this, is keep, I would advise you to keep the true DFS projections in there. And if anything, I would use the Sabersim revised ownership. That's providing I'm not around. You know what I mean? If I'm not around, if I'm around, I can update the, the, the ownerships. Obviously, I would rather use those. But 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 if, if I'm not around, you really should take the time to refresh the Sabersim um, ownerships. And you can do that manually um, with your upload, with the upload feature. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, just so you know, so we're gonna, we are going to download these. We're going to save these for now, and we are going to change them. But just I, I always want to make sure that these have some kind of passable dummy lineups before. Before I move on, the other thing, by the way, that really is is. Want to keep up the uh, keep up the process? One way apparently to do well in hockey is to just basically skunk the entire tennis slate. And I'm well on my way of doing that today. So if that's the case, then then maybe you know correlation does mean causation, and we will be able to get there. All right, um, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody, today. And uh, yeah, bear with me with the content as Bobby's out, but we will do the best we can.